92% of North Dakota's 327 fire departments are run by volunteers. The Bismarck Rural Fire Department used to be one of them. The department is commemorating 70 years of service, and Bella Craft tells us about the changes that has gone through over the decades. Captain Scott Summers has been with the Bismarck Rural Fire Department for the last 28 years. He is one of the first firefighters to go from volunteer to full time. Oh, everything's changed. Um, the amount of employees that the department employs now, the number of calls. It's still a uh, small department, but it's a, it's a really good department. These photos remind Assistant Chief Brian Renke of his 27 years of firefighting. He says the biggest change he's seen is in communication. Our new radio system allows us to uh, talk with our firefighters that are in the buildings. Uh, we have better building penetration, better range on our radios. That's probably one of the most significant things that I've seen since I've started. The department is now overflowing with service calls. In the past, there were only around 200 calls a year. That number is now up to 800. Without rural fire departments, not just us, but throughout the state, if they didn't exist, I mean, there'd be a lot of damage. There'd be a lot of uh, issues that don't get taken care of. There'd be a lot of car accidents that nobody responds to. The department covers 465 square miles from Emmons County to just south of Wilton. Firefighters not only have to deal with the extensive area coverage, but also must battle fires with few to no hydrants and learn how to operate the 17 pieces of specialized equipment. We're a little bit unique. We're so close to the city. I find most remarkable is that we accomplish so much with a small full-time staff. It looks pretty similar. For people like Summers, it's not the headlines that he'll remember, but instead something more impactful. I guess some of my best memories are just people I work with. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Craft, reporting for your news leader. The department is working on building and staffing a second station just north of Bismarck.